Next up, this is a quick one. Uh, Revolut taps Fireblocks to support new crypto-based services. So uh, I have Revolut. I have Revolut as my business account because I thought it was going to be better. I thought it was be better than the local banks that I that I have, or even the nationwide banks. And it's not that great. I'll just be honest with you. Uh, they came over from Europe. Uh, they have their Metropolitan Bank here in New York, and they're using that to do everything with, with their banking services. The thing that sucks is that I've had my Venmo account canceled because I tried to use Venmo through Revolut, uh, actually to link it up, and they don't allow that. And then when I tried to verify my PayPal account, uh, they rejected those payments, which is, you know, PayPal will, will put in like, like a couple of cents. You have to verify the transactions. Well, they denied those transactions, and then it screwed up everything with PayPal. So, uh, you know, besides that, <laughs> those two things happening, it's been not a bad uh, experience. Everything's online and not so bad, but they really need to kind of shore up some things because they really need to be interoperable with different types of formats, especially in the States. I mean, that's just me talking about, you know, some ugly American going, I want exactly what I want. Well, it's true. It's what I want. So putting that aside, there is some good news. And that is that Revolut will use Fireblocks wallet and network infrastructure when it offers new crypto services for its 13 million global retail customers. So this is right on the heels of Kraken Financial coming out and saying, hey, we have a charter in Wyoming and we're going to have special depository services. And essentially, they're becoming a banking license. But unlike a bank, they will not be able to do fractional reserve lending because everything that they have in there, they have to have it backed up. They can't be like a regular bank where a bank takes 100 bucks and goes, thanks for 100 bucks, sucker. And they just loan it all out to somebody else. And then uh, when someone comes and goes, hey, is my money still there? Oh, yes, sir, it still is. No, it's not. It's gone. It's gone. It's being lent out. Now, money, as far as banking services go, on a digital ledger, it's all there. Don't look behind the curtain of what the wizard's doing. But in reality, the money that you put in gets lent out to somebody else. And that person deposits something, and that, that money gets lent out. So Kraken can't do that. And the same thing is going to be done with Revolut. And what's great about Revolut is that they have the banking license, and now they're going to have digital currencies and cryptocurrencies. And it's just one more domino effect to fall. So its statement, or Revolut statement, said using Fireblocks, crypto management solution would help Revolut streamline liquidity settlements and help guarantee the best price to customers while also reducing counterparty risk. Fireblocks, or Fireblocks, uses a patented MPC technology for its wallet and said that so far, it has helped with the transfer of 70 billion worth of digital assets. So that got me wondering, what the heck is Fireblocks? And I took a look at their website and they have some pretty big players. They have players like Bitstamp. And let's take a look at the exchanges. Uh -huh. LGO, CoinFlex, Voyager, CoinSquare. So these guys have been in the game for a little bit of time, and they're going to offer their services to Revolut to offer cryptocurrency digital assets. I don't know exactly where this is going to go, but I like to see options. And I like it when the other traditional banks have to sit back and go, hmm, are we Blockbuster? Because in the distance, that looks like Netflix. Now, who knows? Is anybody's guess? But let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.